One of the things you need to understand is about how when a real man cooks, he needs machinery. I'm talking heavy duty machinery. Now I've got this little beauty right here. Oh, just listen to that. Look at that little doohickey going around. Doesn't that just get you excited just watching it? Yes, sir. Well, that little doohickey's got this here attachment that you can stick in there. Of course, you have to get your wrenches out to make it work right. You know, you pull your... I got my handy dandy little tool here to take this gizmo off the end of this so I can put this on the here. That's the other thing about when a real man cooks. If he's got something he can take apart, oh, that's just all the much better. You got to make the kitchen be somewhat like a garage, you know, when a real man's cooking. Otherwise, it just feels too sissy fight. I don't think a real man can handle it. So anyway, what I do is I put this little gizmo in there, see? And then when I turn this on, by the way, wouldn't it be cool to hook up a small block Chevy engine to this baby right here? Can you imagine how much, <laughs> how we could grind out the vegetables? Watch this thing go. Oh, it ain't going away. Something's wrong here. All right. See, that's a good thing. That gives me a chance to work on it. All right. Let's check this out now. Oh, look at that. You see that little end thing? Can y'all see that little end thing going around in there? Ooh, just trying to make you, <clears throat> make you get all excited just watching it. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to cram as much stuff down into here and we're going to hold this bucket out here. We're going to catch it as it comes out the other end. That's going to be exciting. Let me, uh, let me grab a vegetable and I'll show you how that works. By the way, maybe I should explain what I'm doing here. I'm going to make a meatloaf. And by that, I don't mean I'm going to take a cow into town and let him stand around on the corner and watch the girls walk by. I mean I'm going to make a meatloaf. You know, a meatloaf, a meatloaf. Anyway. Okay, I'm going to start off with the sacrificial carrots. They're going to be the first ingredient in my meatloaf. So I turn the motor on on my little piece of machinery here. I, I raise up a little trap door and I feed that baby right in there. Not quite as satisfying as I was hoping it was going to be. I wanted it to spit out some chunks. It doesn't look like it's spitting out chunks. It looks like it's grinding up little, little weeny looking pieces here. That ain't what I wanted at all. But maybe if I mash on it, that's what I need to do. I need to mash on it. Oh, that's some chunks coming out. Woohoo! And that's satisfying right there. I need another one. That's all it is. Let me find me another one here. All right, now. I guess, I guess it's probably important not to stick your fingers in here. I don't know. I ain't never tried it, but I guess it would be. That looks good. Yeah, that ought to work. What else I can feed into this thing? I got some peppers and onions. I'll feed them in here a little bit. Oh, yeah, I like that. Oh, yeah. Ooh, woo -hoo. All right, here's another one. We'll put another one in there. Come on now. Here we go. I do have several different attachments. I didn't try none of the other attachments out. Well, I, I know some of them are slicers. I didn't want to slice, so I wanted, I wanted to pretty much mangle these things. You know, I wanted to get good and mangle them down. They look pretty mangle down right now. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's real good. I'll turn it up. Yes, I. I guess the next thing I need to do is stick a knife in there. That's always safety hazard. It's always good to create some kind of safety hazard when you're working around machinery. Oh yeah, look at that. Yes, That's good. That's real good. Alright, let's see what else we can find to grind up here. Alright, that wasn't quite as exciting as I was hoping it would be. I, I sort of wanted some bigger chunks, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take this thing out and uh, install a different implement in the end of here, see if I can't get a little bit more satisfactory mechanical progress going on here. I'm, I'm being right careful, trying not to spill this stuff in the floor. Of course, Zachary the dog would like it a whole lot if I did spill it in the floor. That just, you know, gives me something to get excited about, but uh, just the same, I just assume not if I can help it. This is the part where I would get my tools out again. I love working with my tools in the kitchen, that's just awesome. Okay, this time I got this little weapon right here. It looks like it has a lot bigger grooves in the side of it, so that ought to that ought to create some real nice shreddage the way I the way I look at things here. So we'll just stick that right in there. Yeah, just like that. Raise up this little hunky do right here. Push that in. Oh yeah. Come on now, you can do it. That looks good. Alright, let's feed something into that. I got a big old onion right here. 
We'll feed this onion on into the food grinder here, see what comes out the other end. That should be fun. They ought to put some deer exhaust on these things, you know. Instead of deer exhaust and the header, a shifter. It does have kind of a little shifter here. That's pretty satisfactory, but I need more. I think I'll put the rest of that on you on in there. Come on now. Get on in there. You lived a good life, now it's time for you to go. Huh. Alright then. There you go. That's so beautiful. It could be making me tear up. You got that going down in the low gear? Yeah, it's working. It. It's like a Mack truck pulling a load up a mountain. That's awesome. Alright, let me perform my unsafe act here again. I guess I'll maybe I'll slow it down a little bit. They can grab me and flip me around like a kite in the wind if I ain't careful. Okay, what else we got we can add to this? I got a pepper. Let's put a pepper in it. Yeah, pepper. Time for a pepper. You know another thing I could do is uh, paint me some flames on the side of this thing. That would be wicked good, wouldn't it? That'd make it look a lot cooler. It's already a good orangey color, you know. And put some uh, put some blue flames down the side of that. That'd look pretty awesome. I just need more hands. Three second rule. I'm gonna get down in there. That should be pretty good. See how it looks now. Yeah, a little, little pepper, a little onion. Kind of watery. I guess it. I guess it might be better if I chopped it up. It'll probably still be okay. Pretty much all food, you know. Just about anything you can do with food is usually okay. It's still eatable. If you start out with good food, you usually end up with good food, no matter what you do to it along the way. in a bowl with some meat and mix it all together and add some more things to it. Let's see what I got for mixing implements here. Zach sure is going to like all this when he comes home and finds out I've dripped stuff in the floor here. It's going to be all inside. Now this year mixing implement, it kind of looks like a big old crooked finger. You stick it down in there and you turn that on and get that going good. Uh, I'm going to throw some meat in there. Here we go. Throw a little bit of meat in there. Come on now. Yeah, that was good. I don't want to throw the I don't want to throw the wrapping in there because I've tried eating wrapping before, but it ain't that tasty. Oh, that's good. I'll get me another one here. Whee! Well, gotta get the wrapping off of that. There you go. I think I'm gonna put some salsa in there too. I think uh, I think a meat would loaf better to add a little salsa to keep it company. So let's put that in there too. Here's what I got. I got uh, chopped up carrots, onions, peppers, salsa, and some meat. So that, that should be enough to make a meat loaf. Let's see how well that works. I'm going to put that on slow, well, medium slow, while I clean up the mess I've made here. Then we'll throw that baby in the oven, smash it down with ketchup real good. That's going to be awesome. Okay, we've all about got her mixed up now. What I'm going to do is throw the contents of this into this. This is a special pan for hot rodders because it has a hood on it. You don't have a hood on just any old pan, you know. And Of course, hot rodders always take the hood off anyway. You can't take the hood off if you don't have a hood, so it's important to have one. So now that I got one, I'm taking it off. I'll take this stuff and I'll put it in there. We'll throw that baby in the oven. I guess I ought to turn the oven on. 
Okay, as I was saying, we'll throw this stuff in the pan. And we'll going to throw the pan in the oven. And then we'll go watch football for a little while. And then when we come back, we'll have some meatloaf. It'll be just as good as if it was cooked up by a female. It's a good thing. I think a man, I think every man ought to be able to cook. And I think especially if he's got some machinery to cook with in the kitchen. That just makes it all the more better. So, here we go. All right. Dump her right in there. Yeah, just like that. Oh, don't that look appetizing? I bet y'all wish y'all had some of that. Holy cow, look at that. Just look at it. Just look at it. You ever see such a pretty looking meat loaf in all your life? Yeah, I know you all getting hungry out there. Get over it. I ain't sharing. I guess that's good enough. I'm just going to squirt a whole bunch of ketchup on top of it. In fact, I'll do that right now. I don't want y'all to miss any of the important steps. But this is important stuff. You miss any important steps. Look at that. See, the whole purpose of putting the ketchup on there is you just have to coat it down real good. Of course, you got the sauce in there, so that gives you pretty good tomato content to start with. But you know what they say down south? You can't never have too many tomatoes. That's what I feel about it. After it cooks, we'll put some more on it. Bon appetit. Okay, I'm going to bust this thing out of the oven and let y'all guys have a look at it. I know you all just dying to see what it tastes like. You can't taste it because you can't taste it over the video, but I can show you I can show you what it looks like. Ooh, -wee, looky there. I bet you wish you had some. You know, there ain't nothing that says real man food like meatloaf. I mean, just think about it. Meatloaf. Ugh. Yeah, makes all the sense in the world. Kind of reminds me of back when I was on the road. We used to say, uh, we used to have these greetings. We'd give each other over the CB radio and we'd pass by in the big truck. You know, we'd say stuff like, uh, keep, your hammer, keep your hammer down, keep a shiny side down, a greasy side up, uh, keep your powder dry in case you want to shoot your cannon off and don't let your meat loaf. Y'all have a nice day.